Kumapili and his family are Sandawi, members of an ancient community of hunter-gatherers found in central Tanzania. Over the past 30 years, they have gradually acquired agricultural skills and settled rather uncomfortably into a more modern life. They carry ancestral DNA, marking them to be the oldest Homo sapiens, and as such, they are the opening chapter of all our stories. Jumapili is father of four children, a talented hunter and a man of many skills. Leba, 12, is his gentle eldest son. Withdrawn and timid, he is nothing like his dynamic father. He attends primary school, is responsible for the family goats and plays most afternoons with his friends while watching the small herd. This is the story of a father and his son, Leba. This is my mother. Her name is Maria. She takes care of us. This is my little sister, Halima. These are my brothers, Commando and Hamisi. And I am Leba, the eldest son of Jumapili. I am in class five, and eventually I hope to go to secondary school. Every day we have to bring wood or water for the school kitchen and the cook gives us lunch. It is always the same, maize porridge. I know many children who come to school just to get the meal. I'm not one of them. I like learning too. This is the only road that passes through our land. A bus sometimes goes by, but I've never been on it. This is Ikoto, my puppy. He'll be a goat herd dog someday. Right now, he is learning the hard way. I take care of our goats in the afternoon and bring them home before dark. My young brothers, Hamisi and Commando, help and our friends take care of their family cows and sheep. 
We have known each other forever. Ikoto is getting the idea. I'm sure he will grow into a fine herding dog someday. Twins were born to a lady in the village last week. I went with Mama and we took some milk for the celebration. My dad does whatever it takes to get by. He borrowed a pit saw and headed off into the bush to cut planks for one of the teachers.
Du kommer til å bli king. Hekib, jeg kan Jeg kan ikke bare å Aku nak tak kuah ni, kuah bye bye sih. Bao set sih, ni sih jambu kita. Sule semua mana boleh tengok kuah ni. Sule bani sih. Ayah. Apa ki MC tak kian boleh PMC? Sule naik kau mungkin. Mena, ngah ceh. Sule tak kisah, sule kini semua kita wah semua sih kini maka. Sun semua tu tu boleh tak naik ni. Aku, aku, aku. No kau tak pun bafti wah. Sule kuah sule nape? Si giri giri. Tiada siapa itu naik ceh aku kisah ni sih. Hei Rusan, dia memang saya ikut tersulen, lazim. Ikut saja kata nak. Jambu tinggi di sana. Ita ke ya kuanza. Peliba minjoga, uang kotor, ting, uang kosit, ting, tak minjot, ting ke pakar angka isi orang ini. Ayah lima hak cek oh. Tima aku kau ting. Untuk aku isi. Tiếng cổ này là gì? Tạm mê xịt xạo bằng hiệu của người tạm mê xịt cổ chân. Hà Mì xịt. 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 Có ai như nhà bê? Dad is always busy making useful stuff. He wants me to know these things, but sometimes when I watch him I get scared. Scared that I will never be good enough. I really doubt I'll ever know half of what he knows. Kau apa kia? Apa sih aku kega? Saku saku pe. Ekor lawan tau gak? Ekor lawan tau gak? Aring goring gosong ekor. Dolo kong kau kau. Bapa, bapa sini sini, ini mana? Leba. Eh, ya rosan mana sih kita? Ya, nang mana, mana eh ni sih? Eh. Yang mana coba na? Eh. My dad was on a mission. It was not the beehives. Not the hunting, not the old man, it was me. (laughs) 
I was in for a surprise the day before our trip. Dad took me hunting, my first Hyrax hunt. I was the youngest, which is why he let my friend Rama come too. That way we could learn together. He let me keep the knife to clear the way. It was a long trek. <laughs> Nice, <laughs> What Whatever, <laughs> <laughs> Never. Hey. Wait. Wait. Oh, I guess it so short and small. I don't know how such a small creature moves so fast. And her fur is so soft. Just 
minutes ago she was running around here. We younger ones sat together, apart from Dad and the other men. And the dogs waited for our scraps. I'd had enough for my first Hyrax hunt. But as we headed home, a trapped Hyrax changed everything for me. We set off early on our trip, as it was many miles to visit the old man with the beehives. We also had to collect medicine for Mama Rahema, who has pains in her legs. On the way, we greeted neighbours and distant relatives who I'd never met before. 
，哎，先先安看，跟咱家亲戚来过来拉面嘛。跟咱家亲，嗯，我晓得咱家那妈妈公妈给我打死。我袂记咧，可是那嘿，从一天咧大阵起啊，你往下睇是光起啊，光啊，啊，有光啊，紧急啊，起啊，各式各式那来有新鲜光。那那个，哎，好袂阿塞拉马卡，有时，嘿嘿，阿多寡哦，阿阿小哈，我我看，袂使下个哦。啊，每个人嘛嘞，可以也土家子，可算不呢？土家子，土家子，比嘛阿杂。有个，有有，喂喂，哎。侬阿卡个，哦，个卡，哎个。别搞，天，别搞，别搞了嘛，别搞了。哎，谁搞的？这这瓜果嘛，要打给。哎喂喂，喂，咋咋的？我们先。哎呦，哎呦。Eu ga, eu, eu, ué, ué, é. Não há caco. Oh, o caco. Eco. Tete kuah kau mak yang terakhir dah lama. Hei, 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 wait, 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 Dolo kot aku minta dia. Ngoko ngoko hos na yo mati ni jo bias. Ngoko jo jo mespiro piro. Ngoko tungka mespiro piro. Makang adat mesa piro piro, ana angkat cecos nasi piro piro, makat cecet mes kanda kanda, ngoko ngoko tungka mes piro piro, ozai nama kanda kanda, adat mesa piro, ngoko ngoko hos na yo mat enes yo biasi, ngoko cecet mes piro piro, ngopo bar meko kanda kanda biasi yo. Anda abis itu, ni oliva. Ngoko ngoko hos na yo makene yo abis itu, ngoko cuci mespiro piro. Baba ne, aku kumba. Aku ya, oh, nisko. Ambil. Oh, saya konsen tu. Iskuat lagi. Okey, iskuat lagi. Ah, si kau lagi wala mans. Saya beri insur. Rogo si. Ini mans ya kau ini.
I think Dad was expecting to get paid, but he didn't. Mama Rahema will bring us a goat when she feels better, but I know he wanted some cash for our trip. I was walking further from home than I had ever been before. We followed little paths all along the way, but they crisscrossed and I could not keep track. All I knew was that we were heading east, the direction of the rising sun. Ngokambinga Temo <laughs> よ、よ、あまたてよ。息子へ行く雨。まか裏まかでてやい。ねでて。え、まあ、雨を日は怖いよ。いかそっとせん。よ、そっとせん。日、日上でてこい。で、ピオチ、おついんねや。いっこい。
I drank my fill. The noon clouds built up and dispersed. We found some fruits along the way. I was feeling exhausted, and I was sure Dad was lost. But then we suddenly heard voices, and a great tree came into view. We had arrived. Dad has often told me about this great tree, where the elder, Mr. Haliji, lives. They say he is as old as his tree house. It is one large room and has a smoke hole way up high. Dad brought gifts for Haliji, tobacco and rolling paper. <laughs> Haliji was very pleased. He loves to smoke. He has stories, many, many stories. After the smoke cleared a little, I could listen. 
Haliji is a custodian of our Sandawi culture. He knows many things. I will come here again after I finish school. Though I don't feel ready yet for many of the things he talks about. My regular school seems a different world away. Dad decided not to take the hive. It was in a good place. We would come in the dry season and put up another hive next to that one. Maybe even do a little hunting with Haliji. Meanwhile, we were heading off to a symbol. This is our most powerful healing ritual and the first I was to witness. Many others were heading that way too. The symbol brings together the power of nature and the spirits of our ancestors. People carry animal horns cover themselves in dirt and charcoal. There is dancing, drumming, drinking, singing and sacrifices. Some people become possessed by animal spirits. We were the guests of Haliji's daughter, Mama Frank. She was holding this great healing party for her son, who had a disease that made him go into fits and spasms every so often. <laughs> Oh, 
The green stuff is from the goat's intestines. It is the goat's last meal. Not very pleasant smelling either. <laughs> Mama Frank's boma was now crowded with people who had come to support the sick or to heal themselves. She allowed me into her hut and told me not to be afraid.
symbol turns sick people into antelope. They drink, dance with their eland horns, and connect with our ancestors and animal spirits. And when they return, I am told they are miraculously healed. I was back at school the next week. I had been on a journey with my father. The first of many, I hope. Only a few days had passed, but I felt so much older. Jungle, I can't 